Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Yes, this is the full oracle card spread, which is, means it's an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So this energy applies to Virgo sun, moon rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Virgo influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next week or so. I upload a new video every single week. So even though I no longer date them, because I have learned that they come to people when they're supposed to, I do put a new one out every week. So if you want to get it fresh off the press, please do subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow, and also ring that bell so that you get notifications of when your favorite videos are uploaded. Now, I always provide an extended reading to this reading. This is an energy reading with Oracle cards. Um, in the description box and the comments, there is an extended reading with full tarot card spread that articulates and expands upon this reading and makes it a little bit more personal. And that also includes a romance reading as well. That link is below. Romantic tarot, bing, right above head, is something that I always do. You can take a look at that. It's you. There's a YouTube um, romantic tarot every single week as well. That could provide some good general guidance uh, for your sign. So Virgo, let's get into this. Ooh. Okay, Virgo energy, Virgo, 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 Virgo energy, Virgo energy. I felt you um, as I was reading the card, as I was clearing the cards, I was sound clearing the cards. And there was this steady tone I, I ring the same bell all the time. There was a steady tone that just lingered. Its strength lingered for longer than it seemed. And it was just almost like a, a tone that was everything simultaneously. And it stayed and it remained. So there is a sense, Virgo, of lasting, of something that is sustaining, sustainable, that will be the real, the, the actuality or actualized and last. So let's, let's get into your reading. Love is all around. Love is all around. This is Gemini energy. Announce people singing your praises, announcing people, a lot of compliments, get, receiving a lot of compliment, compliments, being recognized for what you do and who you are, but also springtime, a sense of Twitter pated. You know that word from Bambi, Twitter pated, a feeling of romance, romance, not necessarily as in love, but of romance as in high romance, as in feeling good, feeling sensual, feeling happy, feeling jovial, feeling new, feeling fresh. And it's true that it's almost, it's the beginning of something, a rebirth is assured. It's, a, it's the beginning of something. These energies are coming out together. So this is a start of this is a start of a beautiful friendship. This is a start of something brand new. Um, they've heard the call. You're on the same frequency. You know, bats um, um, see or hear through sonar. Sound is very important to them. It tells them a lot more than it tells us even. So this energy of, of what, you're, what you're putting out, somebody picking up what you're putting down. Um, for a whole new beginning, a new start. Let's start there, Virgo, because that's a very good place to start. Um, oh, and I just realized this is an energy of four plus one is five, and this is five. 55, there's a change coming up, but it's beautiful change. It's like a change that, it, like, yes, it's a change when a chick, it's like the chick is popping out of the egg. And that's a change, right? But it's a beautiful change. It's a change that not only needed to happen, but it's a change that is the start of something beautiful. And it's going to last for a long time, which is exactly what I got in the channeled message. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Virgo. Virgo, 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 
Virgo. Nope, that's way too much. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Nice. This is definitely going to be a lighter week for you guys. Sorry. It's just, it's going to, it's, it's going to be happy. There's going to, there's playfulness here. There's energy, maybe even flirta flirtatiousness. Good stuff coming out. But it's happening slowly. And part of the slowness of the motion, I think, is why you feel so comfortable with it. Because it's finally things are, th things are starting to not come at you all at once. You're able to start putting things in order or control the timing of them again. And you like that. Hold on. There's a detour card in here. And I know you don't like that. Wait. These cards fell out all over the place. So first two that came out, surrender now. Like a moth to a flame, just head right into it. A sense of give over and trust that the way, the direction you're being led, even if you can't see the road, you're, you have a lot of passion for the road ahead. You're actually trusting of what's coming. This is Sagittarius energy of loving the chaos of feeling burning like there's a passion burning a deciding to head right in jump right in even if you're over your head you don't care you're just so comfortable and there's a sense of comfort here and a sense of energize it's like you want to take the risk 9, 10, 11, 12 energy of three divine timing bring a gentle touch this is you this is your energy, love, unconditional love, cultivation, nurturing, jumping into a new love. Playful, being flirtatious, enjoying yourself, keeping things light. And that's a really good philosophy is just enjoying the enjoyment phase. That's sustainable for right now. And you don't, you don't want to go under the surface right now. Because it feels so good above water. It's like, Virgo, this could also just be the energy of springtime starting to bloom. And finally being able to get out and, and get out of, of, of your blankets and your hibernation phase. And feeling the air on your face and the grass under your toes or the sand in your toes. Of, of getting closer to that time of year where you can just feel freer and lighter there's a lightening here a letting up of and a freshness you are never alone so this is something close to your heart space the heart chakra healing health returning maybe you've had medical issues or medical concerns and those burdens are lightening maybe you've been taking care of somebody those burdens are lightening a sense of everything lightening and getting healthy again. Think heart smart. Things are healthy again. They're in balance again. They're, they're, they just don't seem as hard. And this is love. This is might, this is your central energy too. So it could very well be induced by the fact that you're able to spend time with or form a bond with somebody that makes you feel protected and safe. You see clearly now seven plus seven, the energy of seven, because that's 43, four plus three equals seven. This is Aquarius energy, the truth, the truth coming out, wisdom, wise. You can see in the dark. You can see through the dark. You don't fear the dark. You're not scared of the dark. You're, you've learned from, you've learned from your past. You understand, um, you all, it's almost like you trust yourself more. You trust the environment more. You like being older and more mature. You've shed the craziness that is youth. And now it's like you're experiencing the best parts of youth from an experienced older perspective. 
you see clearly now. Something has become very clearly to you or somebody has just clarified their love to you. Somebody has clarified their appreciation for you. Somebody um, has finally announced or made official um, news that, that you love to hear. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Um, that they value you. Trust in divine detours. This is the energy of seven too. Let yourself, yeah, tr trust, trust, trust in divine guidance. Let your, let your, let yourself take that new risk, not a new risk. You're, you're going to be given a new opportunity. Take it. You can do it. Even if you've never done it before, you're going to be presented, uh, with an opportunity that, um, is new but it's it, you are prepared for it you're ready for it you wouldn't have been offered it let's put it this way you this is Sagittarius energy so it could feel chaotic and a little scary to you you wouldn't have been presented with it if you weren't ready for it this is inevitably a road to something that you really want why because here's your next card sweet results await so take this opportunity. If somebody's offering you a raise, if somebody's offering you a ticket to Paris, if somebody's, whatever this out of the blue curveball offer or opportunity is that's coming for you this week, take it because sweet results await. That's, that's a literal interpretation because that's all it needs. This is, in other words, you're capable. The B I just said this in the Leo video. This is Leo energy. So this is this is confidence. This is competence. This is being able to produce. The bee only only laps up the honey after he's worked hard to make it. So this opportunity, yes, may seem like a deviance from what you are are used to, but it's not it's offered to you because people know you can handle it. You're ready. You're ready for this curveball you're ready to hit it out of the park you're ready to um you're ready for the work you're ready to handle the workload you're ready um embrace the in-between this is libra energy a sense of nope i'm not dealing with the in-between anymore you're moving forward there's no more waiting there's no more holding pattern now you get to come in for a really smooth landing Co-create with spirit. Um, both of these cards are in reverse. That's interesting. This is Libra energy in reverse. Two plus six is eight. And this is energy too uh, in reverse. Think on your feet. Think on your feet. Co-create with... You know what this is telling me? All these cards together. You have your foundation. You already know your purpose. You already know everything that you need to know. You're exactly where you need to be. This curve is taking you to where you need to be. Because think on your feet. This is the energy of, it could be trick, tricky, tricky when it's upside down. But this is, this is you, um, this could be a little bit of stubbornness. No, hold on. This is the energy of you having landed where you need to be. But the way that you're going to land where you need to be is to trust that oddball cockamamie instruction that doesn't sound make you would normally argue with it. Don't argue with it because you're coming in for a smooth landing because of it. Yeah, this is, um, when this card comes out in reverse, spirit is expecting you to guide the way. You, you're the one that's supposed to be making the choice. Spirit is saying, well, you show me what you want. I'll follow. I'll provide as we go. And that's why you can trust this curveball because this curveball is, um, sp spirit's going to respond just as you respond. 
But spirit, in other words, spirit won't respond. It will, if you let it pass you by, the ball will drop. And spirit will be like, okay, well, I guess you weren't interested. But the truth is you are interested. You are interested in the opportunities it's going to bring and the place it's going to get you. You really do want what's on the other side of that. So you have to take it. Because spirit won't pick up the ball for you. But it will help you hit the ball if you decide to get up to bat. But you have to make the choice to get yourself out of this ambiguous place. Out of this place of being stuck and not making a decision or um, being a little too comfortable with where you were. And that's your grounding energy. You're starting with being a little too comfortable with where you are and having to make choices to drive your own progress. Okay. But crowning your energy is, this is a new beginning. So you can't, you're not making a bad choice here. The choices that you make are based on this beautiful energy that's coming forth. That's, you're, in other words, you're ready. You're ready to move on. This is a healthy, happy time for you. The caveat is get up to bat. Hold on. We're going to review the cards. You could have been turned down. You could have been denied something that you really wanted. Something, so almost something that you were depending on to carry you over or on to the next step. And that, that almost it, um, could have or would have in the past shut you down. But there is no shutting you down now because you're in such a stable place. I think you know that it's time to fly. Time to choose your direction. Time to get going or get to set the ball into motion, right? You don't know what you're going to find, but you will eventually land on what you love. So you don't have to know everything you know that you have everything that you need. So get going. This has some major nuances of new love. I can't wait to do the love reading. Um, I'm going to head into the extended Virgo. That link is below in the description box. We're going to do the romance reading over there too. I'll catch you over there.